All right, thanks. Um, so there are a lot of visualization tools that you can basically use uh, to visualize your data in Hadoop, but I actually just took two types of visualization tools that I will actually share to you guys today. But before I even go there, let's take a look at this painting. What puzzles you on this painting? You have 10 seconds to do it, because I only have five minutes. <laughs> All of it? No, let's hide it. It defies the laws of physics, that's right. Look at the water falling down and going to the channel. The channel is actually on horizontal plane and at the same time on a vertical plane. Only MC Azure can do that and the rest of the data scientists was here. Raise your hand if you're a data scientist. We have one, we have two, three, four. Great, you guys rock. All right, so this is the kind of things that data scientists do every day. Uh, they find the needle in the haystack. And it takes a challenge like this. <clears throat> now, they, have, they need a tool to basically do their work like that, right? And Apache Zeppelin is basically an open source tool developed by folks in Japan. They donated it in Apache, and it allows them to plug in any kind of programming languages that they can use, right? So think of shell scripting, bash scripting, Python, Java, Hive, um, you name it. So you, they can provide all the context programming languages and if they don't see it in there, they can plug in the programming language that they want to use into Apache Zeppelin by just doing several uh, coding that they can do on the backend side and visualize the data interactively. <clears throat> so think of a whiteboard. You write your code on your whiteboard. Imagine there's a go button on the bottom right corner. Press that and your code executes and you can see it as it happens. So concept of doing it like that, same way with Apache Zeppelin. So it makes the lives easier for data scientists and um, allows them to do data ingestion, data discovery, um, data uh, analytics, and visualization as well. All right, so there's another uh, persona besides MC Azure. We have Sherlock Holmes. So who are the uh, administrators here? So if you are using Hadoop, who are the Hadoop administrators? Do you have any Hadoop administrators here? Um, all right, so we got a couple. Um, so basically, the, the other side of this visualization tool is finding things that's going to go wrong or what's, you know, but are, are there any issues at the moment? Um, so Apache Ambari is an open source tool um, developed by a lot of the uh, uh, organizations working together to provide an easy tool to manage the cluster. So you have uh, provisioning of your cluster, management of the cluster, and monitoring of the cluster. You can take one guy to manage a 1,000 machine you know, cluster for a dude and manage it, and that's very doable. I don't think you can pull it off with legacy systems. Um, all right, the other piece to this is, so we're talking about managing your cluster operations. Now, let's talk about applications that actually will leverage a dude. Um, so think of a travel agency. Um, a travel agency could provide a backbone, or not travel, but a company could provide a backbone for travel agencies to book tickets, right? Let's just say they have 500 applications worldwide running all at the same time, and each of those applications generates revenue. So to avoid any loss, those applications have to run all the time. And we have uh, this tool called Cabana and Banana, waiting for Nirvana to come up. Um, these tools basically sits on top of a search and indexing tool, uh, like Solar Elasticsearch. So it allows you to suck in all the data, provide the logic that will basically turn on those application logs out of 500, and determine what's going on with this application. Any occurrences of exceptions, errors, or indications that the application is gonna actually go down. Um, so you can see this in real time. Uh, there's actually one organization here in Atlanta. They were able to determine if there's an issue within 500 milliseconds across 500 applications worldwide. And they're able to act on it right away. Um, pretty cool tools within D3 to visualize the data. Very valuable, customizable. You can see all the widgets um, and then identify you know, what machines are having issues, what kind of issues they have, and so on. Um, that's it. All right, guys.